Hello my dear students, welcome back. Today I am here with the second part of the chapter disasters. Hope you have seen the first part of the chapter. If you like and understood, don't forget to share your valuable feedback. Yes students, today what we are going to learn here. We are going to learn a uh, very important that disaster that is natural disaster earthquake. So today we will get to know all about earthquake. How we can measure earthquake that magnitude and what are the precautions we can take and whatever the effects are there of the earthquake we will get to know here so students first we have to know what is earthquake as you have uh, as all of you know that earth is having main three layers if you see the structure of the earth that here that is the one fourth part of the earth that the one fourth part i have taken here showing the inner part it is known as core the second part is known as mantle and the th upper layer of this earth it is known as crust or lithosphere. This lithosphere layer is also basically made of main seven that major plates and so many minor plates. These plates are basically they tend to come together towards east side or towards opposite direction. I am showing here suppose this is this is a plate another plate is here. They used to move to a same direction sometime and they form converging or convergent boundary. Under a boundary they form, they, these are the two plates, they move towards different direction or opposite direction that is known as divergent chain boundary. Okay. Another a boundary they form when they slides to each other it means they don't also converge or diverge they used to slide they are not also destructive or constructive they are known as transform boundary okay so here what i have said this lithosphere layer also made of different plates and these plates they used to move towards same direction towards opposite opposite direction or they used to slide Due to that, what's happened? Sometimes when they are moving to the same directions, the, they are meeting to each other and collapsing and vibration also or shaking is forming there. And that shake we are also fe uh, feeling on the surface or the earth, surface of the earth. And this shaking or vibration we used to call as earthquake. Okay. So when this earthquake happening somewhere under the ground, that also point it means if this the plate and under this also ground here the here it is also uh, striking together that point is known as seismic focus seismic focus where two plate it is striking to each other and it is also creating vibration or shakes that is known as that seismic focus just vertical of the seismic focus perpendicular over that earth surface that point known as epicenter means if it is a seismic fo focus point under the ground just above that here that also over that area where we are living this direct this perpendicular this point is known as what it is known it is known as epicenter epicenter from this epicenter the seismic wave or the vibration in the concentric way they also used to damage the surrounding area or sometime we used to feel the vibration so here how many points we have got to know here first we have got to know that where the earthquakes also basically how it happens due to the striking of the plates and where the plates um, used to get to see on that lithosphere layer where they are striking that place known as that a uh, seismic focus just perpendicular over the seismic focus the place is known as epicenter and that epicenter from there they also concentric way the vibration it reached to the nearby area okay now students here the vibration and the shake it is known as earthquake but how we can measure the earthquake that we also have to know so students 
there is an instrument that use seismograph seismograph this instrument used to that record the vibration of the earthquake and this instrument is having a scale that scale name is richter scale richter scale okay this scale there one to uh, sorry zero to ten that also uh, it means mark given and here this number given also these are the consecutive numbers how these are consecutive numbers we will get to know first we have to know how these also in that scale the magnitude of the earthquake we can also measure okay so to measure the magnitude of the earthquake that also this richter scale basically use where it has been marked when the magnitude or the vibration it will be 0 to 4 that is known as minor that is known as minor earthquake okay when it is marked 4 to 5.9 here we can also write 3.9 5.9 that is moderate moderate earthquake when it is 6 to 8 that is known as strong earthquake strong or devastating earthquake and when it is more than 8 or above 8 the magnitude will be that is massive distraction will be there okay so here you have to remember this now what to, I am talking about consecutive number. If somewhere the magnitude magnitude of the earthquake it is coming 7. So what is 7 it is saying? It will be 30 times more than the magnitude of 6. Mean previous 6 it will be 30 times more. more. What will be that also the destruction in the 6 magnitude then in the 7 it will be 30 times more. So this, no, this is known as consecutive numbers. Okay. So this Richter scale basically useful for measuring the earthquake magnitude. Okay. So have a look. Students, one more also modified scale people use that is Marsali scale. Marsali scale. This Marsali scale is having the number that in the Roman letter 1 to 12. 1 to 12. Okay. How they also measure in the Marsali scale? 1 to 6. It is said that only tremor tremor or trembling or also shaking of that also um, uh, shaking of the crust we can say no more uh, distraction or also massive distraction will be there but 7 to 12 we can say strong distraction will be there strong distraction okay so these two kind of scale basically used to measure the magnitude of the earthquake so students i have covered the second point also now students we are going to know the third point effects of earthquake so i already have said that causes that any of the disaster causes different kind of also damages distractions obviously this earthquake also having so many that bad effects on our life i will tell you here see the effects i have written First is avalanches. So what is avalanche? When due to that trembling also due to that shake or vibration over that also any of the hilly areas the ice uh, with the mass of that soil and rocks it can move towards downside. That is known as 
avalanches and sometimes due to that also some of the uh, trees can be uprooted and it uh, it can be also loose okay and it can also cause landslide even okay next is tidal wave tidal wave that is known as tsunami su and nami these are the japanese word these also causes the devastation at the coastal areas due to that earthquake next is there fire when uh, due to that also earthquake in that um, houses in the buildings when people are cooking or somewhere they are busy in that kitchen or uh, somewhere gas leakage due to that also fire can be there next is river changing courses and flooding when that the earthquakes are happening the rivers sometimes they change their course they move to the another direction from their usual direction okay and uh, due to that also the bed of that uh, uh, the river it can uplift and it can cause flood next day due to that earthquake so many people used to die you have also heard and read that the earthquake which also held in that 1914 and 19 2001 in the maharashtra part and gujarat due to that in the gujarat part uh, vuj area near about 30000 people they lost their lives that is also another devastation which caused by that also earthquake next is building collapse that uh, maximum that in our country that government rule is there that whenever we are also making any of the skyscrapers or any of that high rise building we have to first look after for that also it means earthquake resistance that building also or any of the construction okay so whatever is there that if this kind of construction is not there building any time can collapse and at the part of our northern india at the ganga brahmaputra that basin area we are having the also risk of earthquake because there are plate boundary zone they are available due to that any time we can face this kind of earthquake next is there road uh, also roads and building sorry bridges crumble yes obviously um, by that also earthquake roads and bridge sometime it crumble because upliftment can be there some place can uplift some place can go down due to that the crumbling of the roads and bridges which cause the damages of also properties that uh, even row and uh, the even also life can be lost due to that next then breaking of gas lines yes obviously when the upliftment will be will be there gas leakage can be there which cause damages of the um, environment atmospheric pollutions people can also face that kind of poisonous gases and they can die then spills of hazardous chemicals if people are living near to that chemical or factories this kind of this earthquake situation any kind of also this poisonous chemicals can be also it means uh, exit in that nature and that can cause hazard okay so these are the effect of earthquakes now students we have to know how we can also take the precautions okay or whatever the precautions we should take okay so here first also the main point should be there if the vibration is there or earthquake is there then and there we should follow this five rule you should remember always you should also it means uh, make uh, to learn other one how to protect yourself at the time of earthquake so first that point you drop then cover then hold so here what is that drop cover and hold here the picture i have also drawn or the through that you are getting to see a boy under that also table how he cover up his head okay so same way you should do if there is any table high rise table any couch or any kind of bed under that any space is there then and there you just go under this so that you can uh, um, you drop under this and then cover up your head and face eye and then there you hold up that okay so in that case you can protect your protect your head and your eyes which is the most important part of our, of our body okay so these three things these are, uh, are the main important next whatever if you are not having any kind of this kind of table or couch what you will do you then and there if there is a wall you that also just drop down at the uh, over that 
uh, floor at that side of the wall and you have to look after that there should not be any kind of almirals any kind of book or uh, bookshelf or this kind of things which can fall over you okay so you have to protect yourself by this way and if you are uh, that is if you are indoor means if you are in school if you are in office or uh, any kind of also indoor areas but if you are outside what you will do if you are outside you have to first make yourself safe how you go far from any of the high rise building any of that electric poles or from any of that hoardings otherwise it can fall over you if there is some also glass windows any kind of glass things you should go far from that because due to that the glass things it can break easily and it can harm you okay so these are the things you have to remember and with this you have to know how to do the first aid first aid you should know and whatever the first aid now also that kit you should prepare before that every time you should also keep some of the necessary things so also necessary medicine necessary things which is necessary in that kind of also disaster okay so here uh, so these are the main that precaution you should follow and last but not the least that is the don't be panic okay so here these are the precaution what we can take or what we should follow at the time of that this earthquake students we have reached the last point that coping with the aftermath so students here first i will tell if you are living in that earthquake prone zone you should participate in the drill how to evacuate ourselves even our family members in that kind of disaster okay this kind of drill also basically it will help you to go uh, and to also uh, it mean evacuate yourself first as as soon as possible okay and now you have to know how you can cope up first when the tremor it will stop or the shake it will stop then you will check that is there any damage at there also uh, at your place at your in your home is there any of injury you are having or not any kind of severe cases is there or not then if you are having mobile phones or any kind of also contacts uh, you can do then and there you should also um, it means take the help of that help centers or different also this kind of centers and even government different agencies are there whatever nearby is there you should call to them and you should see that like you other is there any other people also basically uh, they uh, stuck in that uh, houses or in the buildings or not he, as a human you should help them okay so students hope you have understood about that also different points whatever i have explained today uh, about that uh, the most important disaster that is the earthquake see the video once again and Uh, if you understood and liked don't forget to share your valuable feedback yes to next we will meet in the next video with the next or, or other disasters and we will get to know how we can save us what are the different uh, information are there so stay safe stay healthy thank you